Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruise Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys. Today we got some more game talk. We got some game news. Yeah, if you play video games, you record them, upload them to YouTube, and make money off of it, this show is for you. Especially if you're a freedom partner. Yeah. Alright guys, I got a whole bunch of stuff on the docket today, so let's skip the foreplay, get right into the short strokes with topic number one. Hell yeah, alright guys, the first topic of the day is a PC game and it's called League of Legends. You've probably heard about it, in fact, you probably play it. Yeah, 27 million people play it per day on average and they have 7.5 million people online at peak time at once. Amazing numbers, it's crazy, it's like a phenomenon. But, here's the thing, great problem to have if you're Riot and you've got this amazingly popular money-making game, but it comes with its issues, in particular, lag or latency, whatever you want to call it, high ping, whatever. Guys, Riot, though, is making, they're doing something about it. That's what I'm trying to say. Use your words, Curtis. <laughs> yeah, guys, they're going to fix that. Apparently, they've got a plan right now, and they're rolling this out pretty quick here, is they're creating a dedicated network for League of Legends players in Canada and the U.S. Why are they doing that? Because if you play League of Legends, you know that milliseconds count, and you can't really rely on your ISPs, especially if you're with um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can't really rely on your ISPs to always give you the best possible service. So they're going to go ahead and create a dedicated network. Now, this makes a lot of sense because unlike YouTube or Netflix or poor porcupine videos, that's what I meant to say. Those require, you can actually get away with large data transfers back and forth because, you know, you did buffers and you watch the video and then it loads five more seconds of video. Um, but with League of Legends and games that, re that require, you know, pretty fast millisecond type split timing reaction stuff, yeah, doesn't cut the mustard. So they're doing that. Expect to see some serious changes in your League of Legends and hopefully your lag time goes down. Also, please remember, real men don't play Teemo. That's not a real character. If you put mushrooms... Uh, yeah. Anyway, topic number two. All right, guys, second topic is Sony. Sony has released some new numbers today. In fact, they've released their total units sold, and here's the number. 18.5 million units, and that's sold to consumers. That's not sold to retailers that's sitting on shelves in, in a Walmart in the middle of nowhere. No, guys, they sold 18.5 million consoles, and they, from what everybody's pretty much getting at, is they're way ahead of everybody else. Now, there's probably a lot of reasons for it, but one of the things I was looking at and what I'm thinking about is most of their games are pretty much the same games you can find on an Xbox One, for example. Yes, they've got Drive Club and Killzone and one other one that's exclusive to their console, but they don't really have that sort of like killer game that, you know, you've got to get a PlayStation for it because you can't get it anywhere else. And, you know, they're still ahead. Also, Nintendo... They're a little bit lagging behind. Yes, their processor and their power is a little bit less, but they have better exclusives. They've got Super Smash Bros. They've got, I don't know, Bayonetta 2. They've got uh, Mario Kart. I mean, they've got some really killer first party games. So anyways, guys, Sony's, their numbers are out. If you have any comments or any reasons why you think Sony's so far ahead of maybe their competitors, let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna be picking up a Nintendo Wii this week and you guys are going to add me as my friend. Anyways, let's get on to topic number three. All right, guys, third topic is The Witcher 3. Yeah, guys, I talked about it yesterday, about the Steelbook art covers. Well, today they released the specs for the PC. Here's what you're going to need to play the game. Well, you're going to need six gigs of RAM. That's the one that sort of sticks out at people. Now, most people, including myself and, and most of you, probably have six gigs of RAM, but some systems that were sold in the last two years or so were came with default with four gigs of RAM, and you might need to upgrade to play it if this is your thing. Also, you're going to want a GTX 660 graphic card or higher or an AMD equivalent. I forget the number. And uh, you're going to need 40 gigabytes of hard drive space. Not a big deal. But anyways, guys, those are the specs. The game is due on May 19th. And yeah, like I said yesterday, this one could be a winner. Maybe a GOTY RPG of the year. Anyways, let's get into topic number four. All right, guys, final topic is... YouTube and Minecraft. Yeah, here's the thing. For 2014, the second most searched term was Minecraft. Number one was music, which makes no sense because, well, whatever. Um, and it was just music. It wasn't like a particular artist, just music. But Minecraft came in at number two. It came ahead of Beyonce. It came ahead of Taylor Swift. It came ahead of Frozen, that Disney movie. Everything except the term music, which will give you nothing. But 
Joking aside, guys, for those of you that play video games, record them, and want to upload them to YouTube, or you're thinking about getting into it, it's a thing now. YouTube is all about the games. It's not about the base, it's about the games. The 20 of the top 100 channels on YouTube are gaming related, and Minecraft is leading the pack. So, if you're thinking about doing it and you're not sure, take the plunge, guys. The future is gaming. There's tons of money in it. If you're good, go. This is your boy, Big C, checking out tomorrow. I'll be back with some more news. Bling!